Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 30th of November. Wrapping up meteorological fall today, the weather amazingly quiet for much of the country, but next week a big pattern change. Let's dive in and talk about things this afternoon. There's the water vapor satellite view. Got a wave passing north of the state, dragging a surface front down through here with some rain at times today as expected. Uh, that was the radar at 245, the bulk of the rain over the central and southern counties of the state at that point, raining at that time in places like Lake Martin, Selma, Montgomery. Any lingering shower should end this evening and will be dry tomorrow through the weekend. Temperatures mostly in the 60s. The exception is Fort Payne. They've got 59 up in northeast Alabama. There's the visible satellite view, and you can see there are some breaks in the cloud cover uh, in northwest Alabama and over east central Alabama, but generally speaking, much of the state with clouds today. Boy, what a quiet day to wrap up the, uh, the month. Uh, hazards across the United States, nothing. Not a watch, not a warning, not an advisory. That's amazingly quiet. Haven't seen that in a long time. And look at the severe weather outlook. No thunder anywhere in the country for the rest of today and tonight. So we'll take that. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Thursday morning of next week. Uh, higher numbers basically right here across parts of the mid and deep south. In Alabama, the amounts between one and two inches for the northern half of the state. Lighter amounts on down to the south. Our next rain will be toward the middle part of next week with that Arctic front moving in. And this is the last time you'll see this graphic until June 1st of next year. Hurricane season wraps up this evening. It's been a busy one. Uh, one with uh, some nasty hurricanes. We can be thankful that it's over for a while. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars. You can see a benign flow across the country, hardly any big waves to talk about. And for us, the day will be dry. We could see some dense fog in the morning. And then uh, the sky becoming partly sunny with a high in the 60s. Saturday as the weekend begins. We start the day in the 40s, the high again mid to upper 60s. Very nice day for the weekend, and Sunday looks good. Highs around 70 after a low in the upper 40s. The sky partly to mostly sunny. All right, next week, let's see how this pattern change evolves. This is Monday. We're dry and mild. The chance we see low 70s. Tuesday, the GFS remains the slower model with the Arctic front. If this were to verify, the rain would not arrive until Tuesday night, and we could see low 70s on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, the main batch of showers comes in here, and temperatures will likely be falling, the bulk of the rain really after the frontal passage. So Wednesday, could be, Wednesday if this were to verify, would be a cold day, a wet day, will be in the 40s all day. But again, let me show you the European here. This is Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. It's got the batch of showers, maybe some thunder in here. That's not a severe weather look. And then Wednesday, we're dry and cold. That's a strong north wind, uh, cold and dry. So again, if you buy the European solution, the better chance of rain would be Tuesday night, Wednesday, dry and cold. The GFS says rain lingers into Wednesday. We'll get better re resolution in coming days. Let's go to uh, a week from today. This is Thursday. There's your big trough in the east, ridge in the west, as expected. And down below that, that's basically a cold and dry look for us. Let's keep going here. This is Sunday, December 10th. And wow, that trough is going nowhere. Kind of a blocked pattern. And if this persists for a while, that could mean temperatures below average on through the rest of December. And again, if that verifies the weather cold and dry for us. It's a big old 1037 high sitting over Kansas. Get the numbers. You can see the mild weather on through uh, Tuesday of next week. And after that, highs dropping in the 40s and lows dropping in the 20s. And I wouldn't be shocked if the numbers were actually go down a bit as we get closer to the arrival of that air mass. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.